Last week, we revealed that a lady made a million dollars from watching Market Mondays. Yes. What are some of the returns of the stocks called on the show? Can we talk about it real quick? Uh, so since the show started, since the inception of the show, Apple is up 105%. Microsoft, my baby, is only up 63%, but still is amazing. AMD is up 116%. Eli Lilly is up 172%. VOO is up 59%. NVIDIA is up 589%. Tesla is up 1,213% for the call that you gave on NVIDIA, Troy. I don't know how much that's up. Oh, uh, that, I mean, that call is only up 347% today. Right. And also the ones to stay away from famously called Bitcoin at 20,000. I know I'm not the foremost expert on crypto to all the crypto people who don't like me. I did call Bitcoin going to 20,000. And more importantly, Mike Novogratz will be an invest fest. He did say my analysis was that of an institution level. Called it at 20,000. I know some of y'all like, oh, you arrogant. No, I'm not, yo. Like, I, I, what I'm learning here is too, because people have not found a way to create their own success, they'll do the Elon thing and make jokes opposed to just getting the gains. If you have made money from this show, can I please get a yes in chat? I don't know any other, and I'll put our show up against anybody on Bloomberg or CNBC. So shout out to Josh Bonowin, Turnover. I love all of you guys. Shout out to everybody at the street. But if we're going to talk numbers year over year since 2020, I don't know a show for free that has put up better numbers. Can Those, some good companies. Those are good companies. I'm just, I wrote, I just wrote a list um, and we'll probably get returns on them. Even, I mean, Thermo Fisher spoke about that on semi Z scaler live nation when it was $47 yep. it's trending toward over a hundred right now. CrowdStrike. Um, you said Microsoft, uh, Amazon we called it the stock of the year. Is that what fifty eight percent for the year? Yeah, I don't you know, know if people it, can recharge it now, but Amazon's up. Yeah, I mean there's there, there's a bunch of companies, even the ones that we're just saying like yo, just put on your watch list. If you keep them on your watch list, it's just like okay, that's something to pay attention to. Marathon Oil was one of those uh, eight months ago, mm -hmm. so it it, it there, there's a lot of value in some Franklin of the things that we're saying. Tech. What is that? Oh, up since we wow, anything? I mean, think about that. That was. That was January 2020. We shot that, right? So think about that. Even prior to the pandemic, we when it was just starting, we were telling people, you know, Zoom is a company you should be looking at, and that went up over 300. percent So there's a lot of value in the things that we're saying, and a lot of things that we're telling you to put on your watch list, not for just our sake, but for your sake too. Like these are companies that you should be looking at. Yeah, you don't have to study and know every single thing about the company, but you should definitely pay attention to it. You should be paying attention yeah. to these things because this it's things that we're looking at. We're not just saying them. We're actually watching these things and some of them we're investing in. Hertz is dead. Ford, stay away from. <laughs> I told you about the dinosaurs coming back to life. Like, listen, I've been humble this year. I, I want my credit this year, though. I'm, I'm going to stay humble. Back, take two. Yo, and <laughs> I'm going to be real. <laughs> Talking about creating a, a, a metaverse, I didn't see all this many melanated people talking about this before I came through and crushed the buildings. <laughs> I can say it was just me and Trap. Who well, it wasn't a proliferation of all this. Wait for this next move. I, get your tickets to Invest Fest. This convert Ashley, I'm saying it again. I need 700, 700 of Honey. us. Thank you. Because this talk is going to be the best one yet. I can. Mm, I ain't going to say too much. Shout out to Queen Slip. I was about to go on my Queen Slip mode. But I can say even the ones I'm on stage with, they can't fuck the boy. But it's an, these, an, an impressive for the team who are, who are listening. These are just jokes written by 85 South. Check out the interview with 85 South for Earn Your Leisure. Shout out to Chad being a breakfast club. Talk your talk. If I made you money, please put yes in chat. And the greatest part is about the show, we never charge you anything for the free information. That's a fact. Any detractor who may not like us. Have they put up better gains than us or no? And the invest fest thing is, um, I mean, what else can you do? Tabitha Brown, she just closed a deal with um, Target, Target to have her food there. You got Al Harrington, largest black-owned oh, cannabis brand in, in the country. You got Junior Bridgman, who's on his way to become a billionaire, $800 million net worth. Steve Stout, legend in, the, in three games when it comes to marketing, advertising, um music um you have the largest really quick on that not to cut you off can we argue without steve stout there would be no hip-hop influence in corporate ever yeah he, that was his that's, that's a, his thing that's the that's the case there that's, is that's, that's, that's his that's thing, his Bro, thing. That's he what he he's done. Yeah, he literally is, that's what he did and <laughs> man is now nah. i was like what bridge oh, man. 
Um, bridge the gap for sure. CEO of the largest black owned construction company in America, Cheryl McKissick. Yes. Um, yes. of course, the legendary Steve Harvey, Mike Novogratz, billionaire, four times over, mm -hmm. CEO of crypto hedge fund. Um, the most successful sports agent in the world right now, whose name is Richard Paul. Um, Sean Diddy Combs. Oh, oh, we, can we stop with Richard Paul just for a sec? Because I, I, we want, I want to give him his flowers. The last time we spoke, we said that he the that Clutch Sports had brought in over two billion. Since then, that number Since has then. gone up. That number is nearly three billion in deals. Three billion. Shout out to Rich. Shout out to the whole Clutch Sports team. To be Stevens, head of Steve Harvey's business operations. We got the master investor. Yes. We got 19 keys. Yes. The crazy thing is half of the lineup has not been announced yet. Yeah. And we I are getting phone calls every day from people that want to join <laughs> the lineup. FOMO is the best marketing strategy, ladies and gentlemen. Get your tickets to InvestFest before the price quadruples. So far, don't be coming through this year with COVID. <laughs> yes. Yes, <laughs> please. Be respectful at all times. So the founder of Spotify just raised $65 million mm -hmm. for his healthcare company. What does this signal to you as an investor? Um, it's really interesting. And kudos to Daniel because Daniel has uh, done a significant damage to the music industry as well. But as I'm seeing a lot of tech entrepreneurs transition to other verticals that are going to be here to stay, it's signaling to me that at some point, VC firms and angel investors are going to stop putting their focus on technology and social media apps, and they're going to focus on the quiet takeover of healthcare and enterprise software at scale. Um, I think Daniel's an, an amazing entrepreneur. Uh, in this last decade, he's probably in that top 10 list. But it's interesting that he went from Spotify aggregation of all that data, mm -hmm. right? But that data is probably worth 15x in comparison in the healthcare space. I'm really interested to see what he'll do there over the next four or five years. But as a whole, one of the few sectors that never really gets affected and grows through recession and non-inflationary times is the healthcare space. We're going to see a lot more people to get tired of building social media apps or blogs. And if you miss the race to AI, what is a safe bet that can allow you a lot of growth? It is a healthcare space. So um, that's the biggest takeaway that I have from it is that a lot of people are going to move away from tech as their primary vehicle to get rich. And they're going to move into the healthcare space. Because if you look, there hasn't been rampant technological innovation. There's been some. But if you ask the average person that works in a hospital, if they're doing charting, if they're on like Pixis or like they own a practice, the upgrades that we have on a consumer social media side are 10x that of what's in a, uh, a medical practice. So I think we're going to see a lot of small entrepreneurs begin to transition over to healthcare companies. And I even wonder, like, if let's say Satya left Microsoft or or if, you know, Tim left Apple and retired, would he be chairman of like Lilly? You can see with all the information and data that they have, if I'm looking and seeing that regardless of what happens in the economy in the Western society, that healthcare is here to stay. Because if we're going to be very honest, even from us traveling, like you can see that the food quality is way better everywhere else. The entire model is for the food to be bad so that we can then drug you up to prolong your life. And in the Western society, we're going to see a lot more of our best and brightest go to uh, the healthcare space to take over there. Uh, I, I don't know if we mentioned Eli Lilly. Eli, Eli Lilly is up. A ton yeah. since we started the show as well, too. That's the number a ton. What, but from an investing standpoint, what does that say about oh, the Spotify stock? Because we just spoke about Elon and focusing on the main thing being the main thing. And we spoke about Zuckerberg on when you try to deviate from your pretty much your, the purpose yeah. of your, your own your original company. Sometimes it doesn't work. We've seen their stock plummet a little bit. The the user growth has slowed down, although over the last quarter it has gone up. They're trying to find new ways to invent. What does it say for Spotify in terms of the company as itself and where music is going? Um, I think Spotify's biggest issue is, is the pricing model. Um, of course, the podcast, I mean, I wish, Joe, if you ever show up to have a conversation with us, <laughs> I know you love us dearly. I would love to have this Spotify. Um, if, if I had a stock that went from 387 to $75, and then I spent over a billion dollars on talent. 
Whew. What would I be labeled as? But to me, this also says, because I don't know all the behind the scenes stuff that went on with that. Um, I see this as a, as a hedge for Daniel. Mm. I really do. And if he has a greater control and interest in the company and, and it, going back to Zuckerberg, the, one of the best things he's always done in that company is to make sure that he's on majority of the class A shares. So he can't get pushed around how Steve Jobs did. So if Daniel uses the same strategy as Spotify and applies it to this healthcare app and it grows, maybe eventually he can walk away because the music business has like thin margins. And what, let's be honest, if you're charging $14 or $12 a month, it's really hard to compete with a Microsoft United Healthcare Live Nation. Because even if we just compare it on ticket prices, Yes, you can pay $12 to, to listen to Travis, but I would rather pay the 150 to go to Egypt to see him perform and cause an earthquake. So the margins are a lot higher, which allows the company to reinvest. I think this would be a hedge for Daniel to get out. And another, my final point on him, we don't see him in the press a lot. He's not mm -hmm. all in the videos, dancing. Diddy would be there dancing. And we can make the argument too. Going back to the Elon point, Elon made a Suge Knight-like move with Twitter. Too much arrogance led to the destruction of your company. Capital expenditures were too high. Did he stay the course? I, I would love to just take on some of the stuff that's happening with Diageo at InvestFest. But um, some of these lessons are classic mistakes that happen over and over again. My grandmother used to tell me, like, the game is the same. The players just change. It's up to you to learn the rules yeah. on how to win. Um, so I think Spotify will be okay. I think they are like a C-level kind of tech company. But this healthcare uh, move may be a great hedge for him.